kia ora, Helen Brown's coming here to you live from Boise, Idaho. Hope you guys are all having a super fantastic sparkling day. Just thought I would pop in and say hi and give you a recap on day six of our adventures. Um, we're still here in Boise, our last night in Boise, Idaho. We've spent the day catching up with family. Um, here in Boise, I have first cousins once removed. I have second cousins here. I have second cousins once removed. Um, so it's been a great day of um, catching up with yesterday. We got to meet some family I hadn't met before. Today we got to meet some more family. I got to spend some time with the family we met yesterday. Um, but it was really cool because it's, it's on my dad's side of the family. So he had um, an aunt who... Um, came over here after World War Two. She married a U.S. Navy guy in New Zealand, and um, they had a baby there. And then she was on the last war bride's ship that sailed to the U.S. Um, back in forty-five or forty-six, somewhere around there. Um, and then we heard about we learned about her trip, um, having to go to Sydney first, and then across to the on a ship, and then from the from Sydney to. Um, I think it was San Francisco and then from there via train all the way up to Boise, Idaho and she had a couple of changes in the way and she had to do that by herself with a um, one year old baby as well so which who was in quarantine for three months for three weeks while on the cruise with pneumonia so um, it's interesting learning about um, family history I as most of you know I absolutely love and adore doing genealogy and so this was just bringing in more family stories and making the family more real um, and finding out more about family history which I absolutely love. Um, we got taken on a tour of um, Boise today. We got um, went up to the depot which is where the trains came in so we got to see the train station there. Got to see this huge steam engine that they've got sitting there called Big Mike. Um, 2295 I think was his number or 2290, 2295. I have photos. I will post photos. Um, and we're up there, and we're out there on the platform for the for the depot. It was long. I don't think I have ever seen a platform that long before, um, except for in Wellington with the for the commuter trains and that sort of stuff. But this was just a regular train stop. In fact, I think it might even be longer than some of the platforms at in Wellington. It was it was long. It was really long. But anyway, got amazing views up there. You got to see um, there these beautiful gardens right there. And then we got to look straight down to the Capitol. Um, and then um, Mary took us on a ride down Capitol Boulevard. So there's the state capitol right there in front of us the whole way down. We drove around it. Um, she also took us up to see the dams that were up there. Um, the diversion dam and the next one up from that which was huge it was massive it was like this big it almost looked like there was green grass growing on the side of this dam and then down below was this farm and it had kind of like a lake or a river down there that went down to the other dam um, beautiful I mean I, Boise is a beautiful city there's trees everywhere um, and then she took us out to show us where her um, where the house was that they used that they grew up in um, unfortunately it got burnt down a few years ago so she was able to show us the site where it was um, saw where the grandparents lived um, and heard some of the stories about their childhood and stuff which I just gobble up that stuff um, and then um, we went and had lunch got to meet a second cousin which was awesome um, so I had a nice lunch conversation that then we came back to um, our cousin Steve's place where we're boondocking in his front yard um, you would have seen pictures of that that I posted earlier um, and then we um, we had done the laundry this morning and then so we're busy folding laundry and putting it away and it was drying pretty quickly here in, in Sparkles and we had the windows open but it was still 90 something degrees in here I mean it's what's it now 9 30 at night and it's 91 degrees still inside Sparkles so it's come down from 98 so we are cooling down um, and then Steve picked us up and took us on a drive up to Bogus, Bogus Basin, which is up the ski resort up there. And they have these summertime activities up there now. So we went up to see what they were. Um, went up the Sturt Road a little bit to see where um, their oldest brother, Jim's ashes, were scattered because he used to spend a lot of time up there. Um, but we just had a really good day. Oh, and then to top it all off, and photos are coming. He took us to Kiwi Shake and Bake. It is the name of a restaurant here in Boise. It's called Kiwi Shake and Bake, and it is um, kiwi pies. So these are the pies that you hold in your hand, that you go into New Zealand, you go to the pie warmer, you take out a pie, you put it in a paper bag, and then you 
go and pay for it and you walk down the street eating a pie or you go driving a pie eating a pie and all that sort of stuff they had mince pies they had steak and cheese pies i had a steak and mushroom pie there was chicken and mushroom there was satay there was all these different pies and it was just amazing and i was going down the cabinet and had sausage rolls and pasties and mouse traps and lolly cake and afghans and um belgian biscuits and um it was just this all of it was new zealand food it was all new zealand food and we got to and steve had already told us the story behind the restaurant um and all of this and um, we got our freak on we had the freak shake so you'll see pictures of that too it was amazing it was a mint chocolate freak shake um the food was really good we had a great time um and then we came back to steve's place and got to spend some time just hanging out with family and now we're back in the rv we're going to get an early night tonight because we plan to be on the road tomorrow no later than nine o'clock in the morning um and we are heading to plymouth washington which is um just the other side of the columbia river so the columbia river um is where the state line is halfway across the river so we're going to go from idaho into washington just on the other side of the border there and stay at a place called plymouth um, so that if we have Wi-Fi signal tomorrow, that is where we'll be broadcasting from. So I hope you guys have had a super fantastic sparkling day. Remember, treasure your family. Treasure your family members. Go tell them you love them. And if you've got rifts between them, find a way to fix them. You only get one family. Um, although some people do make other families, which is fine. Um, but don't forget, tell your family members you love them. Enjoy them. Take the time to get to know them if you don't know them. Um, there's some great stories out there great people awesome people i mean we had a phenomenal night tonight so um have a super fantastic sparkling evening and we will see you from hopefully from plymouth washington tomorrow until then hey conera